Storybook Moments Children's Storybook Read Alouds Please give this video a like if you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe for new stories. Thank you. Reading aloud to you, Clifford's First Valentine's Day. Written by Norman Bridwell. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. My dog, Clifford, and I are excited because it's almost time for Valentine's Day. Guess who always gets the biggest valentine? Before Clifford grew up, he was a very small puppy. He had a lot of adventures when he was little. I'll never forget his first Valentine's Day. It all started a few days before the holiday. I was making valentines for Mommy, Daddy, Grandma, and Grandpa. Clifford wanted to help. I gave him some paper. He had his own way of cutting out hearts. In those days, we used white paste to stick decorations on our valentines. Clifford liked the smell of the paste. But I didn't see the paste all over his paws. Uh-oh. What a sticky mess. After I cleaned up my sticky red puppy, we finished the valentines. Clifford liked the special card I made for Grandma. I wanted to mail it right away. We got ready to take the card to the post office. When we got to the post office, I pulled down the door to the mail chute. Uh-oh! Clifford lost his balance. He disappeared into the dark hole and came out in the basement mail room. He sank down under a ton of letters in the cart. The postal workers didn't see him. Poor Clifford. He struggled and struggled, trying to get out. But he just kept slipping deeper and deeper. How would we ever find Clifford? Suddenly, we heard a sound. Erf! Erf! The male was barking. We dug into the letters as fast as we could. Clifford was glad to see us. And we were glad to have him back. On Valentine's Day, I got a lot of cards. I loved the one Grandma sent. But the best Valentine of all was from Clifford. He will always be my favorite Valentine. The end. I hope you enjoyed this Clifford book. For more Valentine's Day books read aloud, please check out my playlist in the description below. And for more stories, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.